your camera is working fine. I can see you moving around and looking at your screen. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, just randomly <laughs> my... Yes? That face. <laughs> 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 I do, how, kinda. Or, or what, what our next steps are, or what's... how exactly we're proceeding. Well, the rogue agreed to help us, and... we need to go to a town for me to get the stuff to make the wands. And also, if I can talk to the necromancer, that would be a great help. We're going to have a really hard time getting back into the capital to talk to the necromancer. Why? We're wanted by the king who's in the capital with all of his henchmen. Um, that's true, but here's the thing. You're a changeling? You're a changeling. I have hide, I have a decent hide and, and I can become incorporeal. Okay, let me rephrase this. You guys are gonna have a hard time getting inside the capital. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can become incorporeal, walk right in. Without. Nothing can touch me. Okay, everybody but Abraxas and I are gonna have a hard time getting in the capital. Okay, you know what? No, no. Let me just narrow this down even Jane. more. Davkis yeah. is gonna have a hard time getting back into the capital. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. They get in my way, I kill them. Actually, he could be a distraction for all of us to just walk right in, if nothing else. Just good luck imprisoning this, like, gigantic, bikey orc thing. <laughs> <laughs> I start run- I start running out, running towards the gate. Move or you get impaled! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't stop for nothing. That's when the Sandman- Blender, come that, That's when the Sandman interrupts you. But don't even uh, go there. <laughs> I wanna know more about the sand. I'm just saying. Don't even go there. Just saying. Giving you a heads up of what could possibly happen. Okay. So, is your. I think our. Is, what? Is Kel's webcam supposed to be black? Who's? Kel? Yeah. No, he's on it right now. Very it's fresh. Um. So, I think we should try to. I think Davkis should stay outside of the capital for safety's sake. We could have Godel go in, and if I need any supplies for making the wands, he can go. He can change form and go buy them. A rogue could go steal them, or the rogue could go steal them, or both. Um, have a two-piece business part where where. Gotta goes to buy him, and then the Alistair follows. Gone. <laughs> no, Alistair follows him to see where they're at, and when Gotta buys like one or two of them, Alistair's back there jacking the rest. Be a good idea. Possibility. I'm not as stupid as I look for an, <laughs> for an orc. Um, but I say the ones we need probably have to come first as well as yeah. any help we can get from the necromancer because the more allies we know that we have on our side especially that that guy especially the necromancer with a big ass construct that can like destroy the whole city to begin with yeah <laughs> yeah I think I think we need to go that route ooh you know what I just remembered what who do the minotaurs work for no one, as far as we know. They were working for the necromancer to get him bodies. What? True. The min yeah. Minotaurs were working for the necromancer yeah, to get bodies were. for his living constructs. Yes. We have some minotaurs to get. Actually, if we just talk to the necromancer, maybe the minotaur, maybe he could get the minotaurs to come help us. 
Um, on top of that, the Minotaurs can just go rampaging in a city as our distraction, instead of any of us having to form a distraction. Oh, I can I can lead the charge. I think it also because... depends on how far away the uh... Minotaurs are actually. The Minotaurs actually are because we got teleported. We got teleported. Well, the red dra the we dragon. Didn't, we didn't go very far because teleported. I mean, us. look how far we are from the original village that we popped up in. We're not that far from it. True. Um. Oh, I forgot what it was. But then say. again, that was a magical forest. Who knows exactly where on this island that forest was? That's true. The wizard might be able to help us get through it, though. Yeah. Or the necromancer would, beca would because the minotaurs are working for him. So. Oh, god damn it. I'll be right back. My cat just puked. How long are you ready for your examination? <laughs> Bend over, grab your ankles, and say, ah. Ah. Uh, hey. <laughs> Not with that end. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> Did our DM fall asleep again? Oh. And Ari did something. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um. Well, if we get the Minotaurs. If we get the Minotaurs, um, I would have to make less wands because they could do a distraction wherever we needed them to. Not only that, uh, well, instead of that, uh, we can use them to, uh, terrorize villages. Yeah, that's what I was saying, the distractions. In the villages to get the well, I take that back. Actually, we could give them the wands if they could use them. It depends on how much intelligence they actually have. Yeah, because then then the Paylorians actually even better if they have enough bodies down there. We could I could actually just make a couple zombies and send them with them. That's if uh, the Necromancer allows you to take those bodies because he was using those for making his living constructs. Yeah. I think, actually, I think he was using it more for maintaining. Um, but, yeah. Either or, he might want those bodies. Either way, we could actually kill the guards and just use their bodies. Because that would work, too. I still want to go down in that dungeon. Do I still have my guard, my guard zombies? I don't think I do. You have six of them. I do still? Okay, good. Well, shit, I could just send the guard zombies with the Minotaur. And just give them a, a wand of control. If they can use it. But yeah, no, we'll figure that out in a minute. Right now, I think most of the, most of the thing we need to do is talk to the Necromancer. I mean, like, and right now, you have the seven things under your control. Yeah, a zombie and my six, uh... Alright. Six thing. Sorry about that. Guards. Okay. But, yeah, I think right now we should go talk to the Necromancer. And, uh... And also figure out the role of the rogue plays, too, so... Figure out how we're gonna work with the rogue. Yeah. All right. So, what's your plan? Uh, I guess try to go back to the capital. Um, <laughs> we should. Um, let's see here. Wait, we need to talk. To actually, yeah, no, we should be able to make it back to the capital without problem, shouldn't we? Uh, we'll probably get stopped. By the guards. No, no, no. I mean, we should be able to make it back to the general area of the capital, right? Um, Hold on. We're not, we're not in like some kind of maze anymore or anything. The um to to the skull to the rogue skull. Um, something I need to verify because I just realized this. Am I the wanted man? 
or is everyone here wanted? Everyone. Okay. <clears throat> Just had to verify. Yeah, cause I could. Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem getting into the necromancer's place. I could just go incorporeal, walk right in. Yeah. People would think they're seeing a ghost. <clears throat> so, okay, um... Um, but yeah, last, I think... The last yeah. form they saw me in was human. Gattle. With the mask. Yeah. It was human with the mask. Well, they saw you also without the mask. True. They saw me human. So you would just need to switch from what you are now. I'm elf right now. Yeah. Mm. I we could really use Solara's invisibility at this point. Right? Um... Uh... Try, I'm trying to think of what to change into. Right, so for now you guys are taking straight for the couple? Um, yeah, we'll, We're slowly uh, making our way there. Yeah, we want to stop quite a ways away from it. Alright. Yeah. Probably at least an hour away from it. So... <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be looking like... I was a female elf when I came to this island. And then I was human, and now I'm male elf. Damn it. What's up? I'm trying to think of who I should be changing into for my, what I'm going to look like. I don't want to, I don't want to look like what I previously looked like on this island. Right. And I would suggest not going with a half orc right now. No. Yeah, might be a good idea not to. No half orc, no drow. No elf. You go human. No, I can't. Why? Well, I can look like a different human. But I don't want to take that risk of still looking like a human. Why don't you, Female. Why don't you go dwarf. Too short and stubby. A uh, yeah, female about. human. <clears throat> I. Oh, you guys can actually see me change. Oh, baby. I see my bone structure alter and skin, do whatever it does when I change. Because I am going to turn into a Gith Yankee. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get us in in trouble? Well, um, we have I just a, thought of an idea. We have a wagon. A merchant. We don't have a beast. <clears throat> I'm sure we can acquire one. Screw that. He can just use his mind powers on the cards to, uh... Make him think that two of the zombies looks like a horse. Actually, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. No, no. Um, and I'm I'm not using the disguise to try to look like a horse. You already look like a horse of spiky. Otherwise, well, I picked Githyanki because it's different. Yeah. 
it's not it's something that they wouldn't really expect to look for whatsoever the one thing that we could Actually, really use duh i'm stupid <clears throat> i can cast my incorporeal on davkis too yeah you did it in the begin in yeah. beginning yeah i can just okay that works me and davkis just got to go in through the wall through the city wall somewhere where the guards aren't yeah passed around Okay. Do you want to sacrifice one of your 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 zombies? You could always make it run up there, attack one of the guards, and then rush off. Well, what I was thinking is having it run, having one run out, like where the rangers are, having it run out to draw their attention, and then us go in a little further down the wall where they're not looking. The only question is, is, you know what we never did? What? We never actually looked to see if the wall had a barrier. Do you mean magical? Magic barrier? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did detect magic around detect. the wall, and it didn't glow. I was going to say, it doesn't matter, I can do it anyway. <laughs> like, now. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> So I'm going in there. Well, we're we're at the moment we should be encamped a little ways out from the. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 not actually going in there. I'm I'm when I say I'm going in there, I'm plot planning it out and mm -hmm. oh, what the hell. Um, <clears throat> figuring out what exactly we're gonna do. What's the plan? So I'm gonna go in there. As. It gives Yankee merchant. I'm gonna leave zombie with the zombie horde. No, I'm not. E.T. Like we we should tie up the zombies. Um. <clears throat> we I, I can't go in as a merchant. We don't have any actual supplies in the wagon to show that I'm. I'm or do we? From all the the past merchant, from all of his stuff. We have whatever is he left in the wagon. So we left we in the wagon. Do we have do a, have merchant supplies. Yes. What type of merchant supplies? But I, here's I, the thing. I need to know. We need to remember, though, that that was protected by guards from, well, the capital. As far as we know. Um. So if they recognize any of the stuff that was in there, we could be caught out. Or you could, anyway. Yeah. Oh, I just. Have I mean, an you're idea. Diff, you're just the Yankee. Idea. No, here's what we do. We pile my we pile all but one of my zombies in the back of the cart, and say you have um say that you have dead to be buried inside the city. They they most likely have me buried outside the city. Huh. They would most likely not have me bring dead into the city if they died outside the city. But they're still in their art uniforms. You're returning. You're returning their bodies to their families. That's a bit sketchy, though, because what's the story behind why I have them? Okay, why did Alistair just disappear? He's still here. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> oh, Scott. Um, yeah. No, uh, what you what you what you would say is that the body that you don't know why why the bodies are or why the people are dead, just that you were instructed to bring them here as a transit. The other thing I is, think merchant would be better because they might have that monitored. Who's who in front of us? Oh. Plus, it's also risking going to the graveyard, having being forced to go to the graveyard. We have to avoid that place like the plague. SDM, who is that in front of us? Or behind um, us, or whichever it is? That'd be in front of you. And who's it behind us? Um, you're into another party of adventurers. You don't seem to notice you. We don't seem to recognize you. Um. Aha. 
somebody detect their alignment? Bufkus has that. Alignment check. <laughs> <laughs> are they good or are they evil? They're evil, we can make friends. They're good, I will send my zombies at them. Uh, they're neutral. I will hold my zombies and allow the smart one to talk. <laughs> Damn it, that's me. <laughs> well, I'm definitely in Davkis. Um, hold on, let me. I'm like the only one that doesn't have a wisdom score. Huh? And mine is a 14. My intelligence is my 18. I need control of my zombies. This. Um. Sorry, I'm going to power it, sir. Uh, nope. <clears throat> my inertial. Initial armor. Uh, oh, crap. My initial armor changes. My armor. Which is a. If we do, if we do have to fight these guys, that guy goes first. Which guy? Your ping is not showing, sir. This one. Ah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, just seeing exactly how far away they actually are, not trying to do anything. No, you're fine. Um, so, do we really have a group of zombies right in front of us walking down the road? They would be fresh, so they would not know that they're zombies. Oh, okay. They would look like you, they would still look like they were at least somewhat alive. Um. They've been dead for a day or so. Well, we're gonna move, wanna be moving a little bit closer because we're 60 feet from them. <laughs> Gotta hate when they're neutral. Crabs, what do you guys gonna do? You probably want gonna yeah. hail him. Um, what about Solara? Um, yeah, she's not actually there. Healed. Um, well, I'm gonna hail him. Draw my zombies, please. And say good. Um, is it day? I don't remember what time. We left in the morning, right? Um, you guys decided to rest before you left? I believe you did that. I think we did. Yeah. Last session. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be morning. Okay. I just want to make sure I remember. Um, yeah, so I'm going to approach them, or, or as we, they grow, get closer to us, we get closer to them, whatever. I'm going to hail them and say, good evening, or good morning, travelers. Hail. Good morning. We were talking to the uh, very well armored guy. Okay. How close do you get? Um. Yeah, that would probably be about right. I guess I would step up. I'm staying back. No, I'm still moving up like a bodyguard. Yeah. Um. I'd say next to me. So we'll just do that. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. What? Where for? Eh, I'd be there. Excuse me. <laughs> we can dance if I want to. We can leap. Um, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it is, Derby. Um, I lost my train of thought. Wait, what's up? I lost my train of thought. Uh, Damn it! I forgot what I was gonna say. You were hailing to him? Yeah, I know. Um, wow, I'm completely freezing up. I know. Looks at you awkwardly. Where do you fare from? From, uh, I, I... Across the sea. Thank you. I was trying to think of an actual name of a place. <laughs> 
We we come from across the sea to do uh Oh, I should, I should, I should specify, Kelvin. Uh, when I changed into get the Yankee as a um, merchant, I'm wearing my noble out, my noble clothing. Ah, uh, okay. Um, sorry, that was supposed to be implied, but I poorly did that. That would also help with the uh, nice looking guards too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, I look like a noble merchant basically. Um, I just look like a nasty bodyguard. Outfit, signet ring. Hmm? Okay. I have my Doberman's outfit on with my signet ring on. Um. God damn it! Yeah, we we hail from across the sea. Ah, uh, I'm a foreign. Foreign travelers, humble merchant, trying to head our way to the capital. Do you need of any assistance? That depends. Where are you hail from? We hail from the capital. Oh. Uh. Hey, boss. I think we have enough hired hands. I agree. We do have plenty. Appreciate your offer. But we shall hurry our way to the capital so I may sell my wares. I didn't hear that last part. I said, so I may sell my wares. Hurry up to the capital. Best of luck to you on your travels. If you need have any assistance, just let us know. Will do. May I ask you a question real quick before I leave, seeing as I am new to this land? <clears throat> How fares the king? The king is not seen often, much less often of late. We would not know. I see. Is he a good man? From what I know of, island is inhabitable because of him. I see. I just say this because I've heard some very suspicious rumors. Go on. <laughs> oh, such as him sending out mercenaries to murder people because of possessions they've had or they they don't think right according to his way. I assume that's a um where the hell is it? For a... yeah. yeah. There it is. Go for that. Damn it. That'd be his sense of motive check versus that. Oh yeah, you can tell you're BSing. <laughs> I'm going to uh, wave my. I'm going to wave my hand and point it at the zombies and prepare them to fight, just in case. Yeah. Um. This doesn't sound much like the king. I have lived here my entire life, and I've never heard of such a thing. I guess I am mistaken, then. I will... Yeah, we should just be feeble uh, rumors. They must be. Why well, then, I bid you farewell. I'm going to, uh, leave my... The bottom two zombies aside, so that they can pass us. Yeah. God damn bluff. <laughs> I'm a plus seven to that too. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. So we're going to pass each other. All right. It's going to be on their way. Continue on. All right. <laughs> and the rogue vanishes. <laughs> I'm tiny. I'm going to say inside my head to Goddle that, um, ho uh, saying hopefully they don't alert the uh, guards to our presence. They're from the capital, they might know that we are wanted. Yes, but I think as far as they know. We're a merchant. I am a merchant, and you are my escort. Yeah, but you're the only one that doesn't look like anybody on the wanted poster. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> good things. Good thing I can make arrows pass through me, and swords, and other fun stuff. Unless I have keen or magical. What's that one? Uh, Ghost, uh, Ghost Touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. You're going down the road. Um, you're almost to the capital. Oh, I should specify. I don't have my mask on. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> How long does your uh your concentrate last? It's daily. I'm not constipated. He's not constipated. Well, that's a good thing, but I'm not um, concentrated. I, have to, I can try like in a couple hours. I think it is. I have to double check that. What? Oh, bodies. <laughs> what? You continue. Not too much further down the road. Um, you ran into a group of dead bodies that look like they're from their town guards from the capital. Do they look fresh? Yes. We need to get Would back to that know. adventure party. I'm going to... They weren't uh, of any evil alignment, so why would they... Not even a, a sliver. I don't think they have to be evil. No. I'm going to you... ask the rogue, is there any other way to contact the necromancer? No. And then other than going into the capital? Not that I would know of. So we Do you have... know any other ways into the capital where we wouldn't be seen? There are means of getting in the capital. I think, um... I did I not think of that before? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think that adventuring party we ran into isn't who they say they are. And if these are dead guards that they killed, they could be helpful. Um, may I just say, there is a ring that can hide your alignment as well as spells. Um, that's probably what they were using. Diane. Would it be possible for us to backtrack and catch up from them and find them again? Um, they went ahead of us. No, we passed. Each other. They're massively ahead of us now, especially if we're stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they went ahead of us, Shmo. Wait. I thought we passed each other, so we were going towards the capital. They're going away from the capital. We are both going in opposite directions. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. But um, because I... we're stopped now, they're going to be even farther away. It's going to take us even... Yeah, yeah quite a bit I'm going to gonna say it's not a good idea to go mess with them because we don't know their abilities or their power, and um, if they did this, you know, there could be problems. I want to kind of inspect one of these corpses. 
Right. I should be the one inspecting the corpses, actually. I want to see how professional it was done. Um, that would be my field. <laughs> um, I have knowledge be both of us. I have knowledge of anatomy. You have knowledge of, an of anatomy, but when it comes to actually slaughtering, I think my character overrules that. I think you both would, would excel in knowing. <laughs> Look here. I have craft embalming and knowledge anatomy. Come on now. And who does okay. most of your killings, anyways? You kill them? I burn Brothers! So just look at the cool. damn corpse already! Alright. Ick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Can you beat that? I'm just looking to see how, be how well it is. What would I actually have to roll? A spot? Or a spot? search? Search. 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 I, mean, I guess. Listen, I can see which body parts have been lacerated, which haven't, which have been... Look, I'm a doctor compared to you, kid. I'm just a murderer. I just want to see how, how professional it was done. So can right. I tell by what means this was done or, you know, all that stuff? Um, We're uh, gonna go CSI. Was, you can definitely tell it was a heated battle. Um, it, the wounds inflicted look similar to the weapons the party had. Can I tell how fast, how fast it was they might have or how long ago they died um I could tell it wasn't that long ago like 30 minutes ago maybe and how long ago did we pass the party five minutes ago <laughs> they did it oh yep. yeah and if they killed town guards actually maybe not They've been dead for 30 minutes. We just passed them five minutes ago. Yeah. How long were we traveling? Before, was it... How long were we traveling before we hit the bodies? Let me ask, 25 minutes? About five minutes? <laughs> they did yeah. it. They did it. Yeah. They did it. And I think I want some more caravan guards. I'm about to say a Braxis. Okay. How bad are the bodies 30 minutes ago means that they... Are they... Are they... Are they suitable for my damn zombies? No. Um. We're out of fun. One of them isn't. The others are. All right. I I, I put my hand I put my hands together and start rubbing them. They stand back. Uh, first, shouldn't we see if they have anything left on them, or are they just? Oh no, I can make them hand it to make me. It. I can just make them hand it to me, so. Who cares if they're bare-ass naked? They're zombies. Nobody cares. They'll eat you. Well, they won't eat me. <laughs> Eating me would be trying to eat a pincushion. I don't I'm think they want to do that. Shut up. Take the bodies. Put them all next to each other so I can just do this at once. Um, while you guys are doing that, I am going to go and take a nice little speedy run back. I was about to say before you do that, as I'm as I'm walking back over towards you because arguing with him, you just see my character going like this. <laughs> All Big right. fucking look, get the bodies close together. Yeah. All right, and I'm going to animate dead. Yay! So now I have. One, two, three, four, five. So four more zombies. Total eleven. That's a roll for that. Uh, nope. Okay. Um, unless they do want to do will saves, which like, well, they actually wouldn't get will save will saves because I'm not bringing their spirit back. Alright. They get boner saves to see if they have a permanent boner or not. Let me make sure of that, though. 
Uh, save the throne. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I am going to... Um, yeah, while they're doing that, he's doing that, I'm activating skate, and I am going a good 55 movement speed, uh, and skating along the ground, <laughs> as if it's ice. He's um, basically roller skating with jets on his... <clears throat> but I need to if it's alright to make a to take a second before I activate skate and concentrate um. oh fucking serious I'm rolling like shit so is there anything left on this body phoenix huh Lacking a head. Uh, is the armor all bloody or? Yeah. What size Thanks. is the armor? Medium. So it won't fit my character. You're medium. Um. <laughs> yeah. You're medium. It would fit you. Humanoid. Medium, um, and I am moving. The medium for a it's medium sized person, medium sized creature. You're a medium sized creature, you're a half orc. I look back at my brother, and it's like, I think we know who's got the captain and the guards. Didn't... Oh, yeah, we didn't kill him, we handed him over. No. Drip this poor headless fucker, and I use his. I use his uh, gear instead of my spike gear, which everybody would know by the picture. That's a good idea. Uh, okay. Um. Excuse me. I'm going 45 feet movement speed because I'm not I only trying to focus. Zombie. No. Well, that's, you only gave me one from those bodies. I know. Um, oh. Them. Okay. Zombies. Okay. I'm slowly developing a horde, yay. Slowly. <laughs> so. I'm gonna strip this poor bastard. Yeah. Put your or his... in the cart. That's what I was gonna do. Okay, am I able to catch up with them? Um, how long are you gonna be going? Uh, well, my skate lasts for eight minutes, but I can just reactivate it again, and I'm going 45. How fast are you going? 45 movement speed. How long are you going again? So, eight minutes? Every eight minutes I can just reactivate it. And every time I reactivate it, I want to do another concentration check. Um, well, first eight minutes to a spot check. Uh, do you happen to have the... I have an idea on what type of armor the guard, that guard was using? Hmm? What type of armor was the guard like? using? Yeah. Um, you know this bell going down the uh, road that they were using. So, now they're still going down the road from how far I've gone. Oh, I do? Okay. Then I'm gonna do this concentration, <laughs> and do another skate to get to them faster. Yeah. Woo! 
They see their trail goes off the road into the forest. No distinct path. Mm. I'm on a mine link and save you down a bit. The trail goes off into the the forest. Are you gonna need help? Probably. Or shouldn't we just let them be? Because they aren't bothering us. It's not by the fact that they're not bothering us, it's the fact that we need as many allies and support we can get for this. And if they're killing town guards, they could definitely be a support. They could. Alright, I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat of the wagon. Have my, uh... Have my older guard zombies grab the wagon, the rest hop in the back and say, let's go. Go as fast as you can. Hey, I'm still getting changed over here. <laughs> Nobody cares. Just grab your armor and take it with. You can change before we get to the capital. You want me to keep my breastplate on then? I guess. Well, actually, we're going away I need from the capital, so you might want to put your spike armor back on. I was about to say, what type of armor is this new one? A little way I know exactly uh, if it's better or not. Because it'd be funny. Um. What armor are you talking about? The one he stripped from the guard. No, the dead normal guard. Breastplate. Just normal breastplate. Okay. Okay. Um. Gotta look up breastplate now. I don't remember it. But I'm gonna command my zombies to go forward. But how long would it take them to get to me? What's up? How long would it take the party to get to me? 30, they'd take them. Because they're just, well, I mean, they're zombies, so they're slower, but they're pushing them yeah, as far as fast as they can. 20, so. Yeah. So, it'll take, take you 16 minutes. It takes them about half an hour to catch up to you. Could all leave us markers. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna <clears throat> pull up my dagger and make a nice little gouge in the tree. And tell uh, and my mind link to everyone saying look for the markings on the trees. Right. I'm gonna concentrate one more time. Thank you. And activate skate again. Now I'm going fifty five up to fifty five. Um I'm also activating touch sight, which allows me to detect anything around me within sixty feet any living, any creature period around me within 60 feet. Right. <clears throat> and I'm following their trail. Um... come through for half that. One second. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, whenever we try to find the uh, marking on the tree, I'm gonna leave the cart off the road.
leave zombie to guard it. I was gonna say keep a, a zo- if not zombie and like two other zombies with him to guard that cart because we need that cart. We need that cart. Yeah, because I wouldn't necessarily I mean, be able to control them too. But if they see something and I'm not there to control them, they will just try to eat it. So. Well, I said I will check. Which, Which one of us? Roll a what? Whoever is tracking them roll a survival. I'm He's got the best survival them? of us. You mean me? Yeah. Um, tracking them. Yeah, I'm following them. Um, okay, sorry. I don't have the macro for that. I <laughs> didn't think I'd actually ever need it. There we go. God damn it. You know what's funny? This is a perfect spot where a relic would be handy. Mm-hmm. All right. So, follow what you think is their trail. Until your um, ability wears out. Eight minutes. So I'm gonna try to look, or I, I guess, search again for their trail. From what I'm yeah, thinking do of. Do a spot check. Looking around. Let's say they get within 60 feet of me, I instantly detect them. Find the correct trail. I find the correct trail. Sweet. Okay. Um, can I tell how fresh? the trail is, or I mean, I know it's not that much of a difference. Um, it's not that much further. Okay, I'm not going to activate skate or anything, uh, but I still move 40. Alright. Uh, and uh, granted, if I'm running, I'm actually four times that. Now that I'm thinking about all this. <laughs> so you're running 160. Yeah, if I was with skate running... It would have been well, a forty-five. Game is the fifty-five. Cheetah. I was taking <laughs> off. Um, Rocket Man. But just, just I totally didn't even realize that. But um, okay, so I'm gonna keep following the trail at a steady pace. As soon as, as soon as I, if if I detect them, as soon as I detect them within that sixty feet, I'm stopping. Wait, I say to detect them, you're gonna what? As soon as I detect them within 60 feet, I'm stopping. Because of my touch sense. Or touch set. Alright, um. About, like, five myself. Alright, so yeah, about five minutes later, you, um, come into a large clearing. <clears throat> You tech tech them um, setting up camp. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Stay back a little bit. <clears throat> as I'm go as I was going, I was making notches in the wood to huh? leave the trail for them. Make sure that was actually implied. Uh, <laughs> when I made the first one and said follow the notches in the wood. Yeah. Um, I'm going to yeah. I'm gonna mine nice. link, and say they're setting up camp in a clearing. I say okay, we'll be there with the zombies. Or two. Zeus. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll probably end up coming up on them at nightfall. Probably not a good time. No, I'm gonna wait. For, well, it should be like. Midday. It's approaching noon. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be half an hour till you guys get there. Yep. I'm yep. just gonna keep walking with my zombies. Aside from the two that we 
aside from the two and the and then zombie that I left with the cart. Did there one zombie with the cart? I left uh, the dwarf zombie and then two of my zombies with the cart. All right. The two minions and the dwarf. So I assume they caught up. Um. Yeah, they caught up. <laughs> all right. So how are we? Okay, this is all mine link. Um, to stay quiet. How are we gonna approach them without seeming threatening? Um. In a. <laughs> in a um. You know, I'm I'm gonna mind link while we pr probably not walk up to them with zombies. I will leave them back here in the woods. Agreed. Whether they know they're zombies or they're just guards, it still could be very threatening. If they just killed guards, they probably don't want to see guards. Yeah. Well, they are kind of dead guards, so I mean, they might like it. They might not know though. Yeah, so I'm just gonna. In fact, I'm probably gonna stay back with my zombies. All right. Should we approach Gafkis? Huh? And Alistair, I'm assuming you're gonna remain silently hidden, just in case. Alistair's probably just gonna be like sneaking up behind us. <laughs> yeah. Well, not behind me. I don't think I'm the case. Okay, so we're going to approach just like we did before on the road. You're my bodyguard. And I'm going to spin it to where... Um, well, this won't be a lie. I'm going to ask for additional aid for traveling as we saw the dead, go dead guards uh, on the road. The dead capital guards in the road. Right, one second. How? <laughs> we still wanna be friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you killed capital guards. We like you now. <laughs> right. Let Gat Dab Kiss give you a big hug. <laughs> Wait, what about Dab Kiss? Let Dab Kiss give you a big hug. Oh, crap. Dab Kiss gets to give hugs. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, hugs. So as you Anyways. approach, um, they all look at you, and um, they seem to be short. Be party members. Yes. God, I'll tell, tell the rogue to see if he can find anybody. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. <sighs> Alistair, try to keep a lookout and for the. Wait, they the date. You wait. We noticed they're missing a couple party members, or you said they noticed that we are. Um, you noticed they're missing party members. Okay, I just want to make sure I heard that right. Most likely, the two archers that were in back with the the drow means one of them's a rogue, one of them's a, either a ranger or somebody else that can move silently. Ranger, we have a problem. As we approach, I'm activating my touch sense. Touch sight, excuse me. I'm running out of power points. Um, oh, so now I can detect anything invisible, not invisible, any presence within 60 feet from me. Um, I don't detect anything besides what you see in front of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. I. Oh, I 
also mentally tell everybody my name is no longer Gottle. Call me Sil. <laughs> Fuck. Really? <laughs> Sorry, that's supposed to be Sil. Call me Sil. Uh. If you must know, I'm taking the name from my other campaign of General Silverstar. Not, not, not Silverus. <laughs> he is here in memory. Yes. Somehow. Uh. That's a machine that goes big. <laughs> he has a rope that always fucked up the DM's plans. <laughs> yes. So, yes, oh, I am Sil, the Githyanki merchant. Um, so, we approach, and I, I wave in, you know, welcome, or not welcome, in greetings, a, you know, peace greetings. Um, the individual looks like a female archer, uh, walks forward and yells, why did you follow us? We may be in a need of you. I may be in need of your, your help. You already offered. Yes, but you also told me to seek you out if I ever needed, or at least your armored friend. Uh, said to seek you out if I ever needed assistance. All right. What do you need assistance with? Seeing as how I just found... Wait, how many dead guards were there? Five? Five. Five dead capital guards on the road from where you guys had just been. And they had been dead for about the same exact amount of time it had taken us to run into each other. I'm going to mind link with God, with uh, so <laughs> Say, hey, um, did I send them out? So, you know, kind of funniness. No. Okay. <laughs> um... I had a s special su su assumption that you guys might not like the capital as much as you let on. Just to not upset the wrong people considering how powerful the king is. Those weren't town guards. They are bandits disguised as town guards. Bluff check? Okay. That'd be sense motive. Yeah, no, um... Oh, fuck. Might be not good. Where is my sad motive? Well, you did search the body thoroughly and everything, to. Yeah. Did yeah, I strip the poor bastard? Yeah, I searched him pretty thoroughly. <laughs> You want me to roll it also? Well, yeah, yeah I'm right there. Yeah, you'd be part of the bluff too if it is. Oh, so please. Fuck. That guy believes him. That guy don't care. He got new shiny armor. <clears throat> I see. Well, then in that case, I seek more aid from. Uh, for my travels as these roads seem to be quite dangerous if bandits are powerful enough to overcome town guards or capital guards you have to wait till the rest of our party members get back and it's not exactly cheap to hire all of us I see do I use the dark aura again on these guys that are right here neutral I am reading thoughts <laughs> will save of eight, 18 
for anybody in a 60 foot cone ahead of me. Actually, anywhere I look, but in that cone. God damn. I think right. it's a feeling that these are higher level adventurers than us. Well, Why do I get the feeling that we're definitely not the right level for this campaign? <laughs> I agree. I don't know, we'd be able to take some stuff out pretty easily. We need to throw rocks at them. Is that the only one within the 60 foot cone? You know what? I am going to test something. I'm going to, to uh, I'm going to tell Sil via mind link that I'm going to test something, and um, this might cause a little alarm, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to command one of my zombies to run in the forest around the clearing. Alright. Sorry. I'm gonna mind link to them and say apparently the uh, guards aka now your zombies were bandits in disguise. Wait, what's up? I mind link to them telling them that the bandits the, the guards were actually bandits in disguise as capital guards. Uh did I see any any type of like markings that would have notified as somebody other than regular town guards when I was stripping that body? Um, he wasn't wearing anything out of ordinary. By the way, um, I'm having one of my zombies stand up and run around the in the woods. Um, on the edge of the clearing. Does anything happen to him? What? What are you... I don't know what you're trying to do. Just looking around, pretty much trying to assess the area. Do the uh, first archer shoot two arrows in the direction of the zombie? Um, you notice the zombie's pinned to the tree. I'm going to mine link with Sil and say, I knew it. They were watching us from the trees. I have an archer. Archer's right in front of you guys. The one I was talking to pulls two arrows and shoots it into the zombie? Yeah. Nice oh, reaction. That was impressive. What did you... Okay. I'm going to have another one of my zombies run further back into the forest. And do um, the same thing, run back and forth. The range of yellows across too. We know your horde in the forest. <laughs> Davkis just like chuckles a little bit. So, I I have to ask. I mean, do not worry. My friends are staying back as to not cause we did not want to seem threatening coming up with our whole group. Um, <clears throat> and he likes to have a little fun bossing his guards around back there. Uh I'm gonna mind link and say I was testing to see if we are if we are being spotted out and just in case so that we don't get like surrounded and killed, you know. Understandable. Um but I I have to ask where are the rest of your party? Camp in 
Setting up camp midday seems a bit early and They're currently hunting. Could be only a few hours till they return. I see. I'm gonna cast bone armor on myself. I'm gonna sense motive again. Yeah. Oh god damn it, that was almost a seventeen. Um yeah, you believe him. I see. Um, I'm, also, I'm also going to command I'm also going to unpin my zombie. Nope. And then command them to walk out with me into the clearing. Alright. <laughs> True. And I'm just gonna go and sit down next to uh next to where their encampment is, with my zombie standing behind me. I'm whispering to, uh, I'm mind linking to everybody else, saying, um, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming two of these two, whoever the other two rangers are. So it's a, it's an archer? This ranger. This ranger. Okay. Those are the two I read? Yeah. Okay. I'm mind linking saying the two rangers closest to us are worried that their party will not return. Um, it's worried of when the party will return. Oh, I, by the way, I still have the rogue head on top of my quarterstaff, which is resting against my body. <gasps> if the rogue wants to an ask any questions or anything. Um, huh. I, I should ask, how much exactly is this going to cost me for your services? For you and our party leader, this, yes. Wait, what? For you and our party leader to discuss. I You'll have to wait until he returns. I see. Well then. Okay, uh, real quick. What was all in the wagon? What kind of goods? Uh, I remember it was parchment, paper. Um, scripture stuff and so document related yeah. stuff. Okay. <clears throat> um. All right. Well then. I guess we will have to wait. do anything between time on time no but, awkwardly stand over there no I was gonna I'm gonna say oh I'm sitting on the ground are we would, would be I don't want to intrude but could we stay by your fire and Brent just says I don't see why not until you're Leader comes. All right. So then, I'm gonna go and buy the fire. God damn it! There I'm pretty much just saying by your side. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit with my zombie horde behind me and with my eyes closed, kind of mumbling to the rogue. Hey, I don't trust these people. All right. So get a bad vibe. Most of the barrels contained uh, parchment paper, like I said, documents and. Uh, a lot of rations. I see. That's not with everything you guys got from it. Okay. Yeah, I mainly needed to know that for pulling off a merchant. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't know my goods. You look like a pretty normal merchant. Yeah. Two timing backstabbing merchant. <laughs> 
a good car salesman. Hey, right now I'm a merchant. Oh, wait, what? I could um, take those goods to the capital and I could actually sell them. A good cart salesman, <laughs> get it right. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mumble to the rogue and say, "Is it just me, or do you get a bad vibe from these people?" Is Alistair gonna respond, or is he just gonna? Oh, no, no, no. To me or the other rogue? No, the rogue head. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm mumbling to the road head, asking him if he gets a bad vibe from these people. Or if he might know any information about them. Alvin? Yep. yep, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I... Yeah. That wasn't supposed to be visible, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so, about four hours later... Well, I was asking... I was asking the rogue, actually, while we were waiting, um, if he gets a bad vibe from these people, or if he, or if he knows any information about them. Um, he says he doesn't know any information about him. He's never seen him before. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. About four hours later. Um. Yes. Four hours later. Are we actually waiting four hours later? <laughs> Apparently. That's what. No, I mean in real time right now because you cut out. You just like stop. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, so, uh, come back in four hours. <laughs> uh, that, that doesn't work. Fucking for me. buffer. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn lag. Uh, that's a. Sorry. That's like a eight thousand ping. So, they come back. Um, you see the. Two warriors, and a party member you haven't seen before, coming back with a few <coughs> um, ears. I'm gonna whisper to myself, "Ooh, undead deer, that might be fun." I have a question: Do these guys get like a little unsubtle being near me, or no? They don't seem phased at all, actually. Because I am giving off an aura of evil. Yeah, there. That's like the only downfall to my detect evil is I actually give off a ten foot radius of evil. Okay. So he they approach a new member in um who uh, looks familiar. He looks familiar? Oh, uh, wait a minute. That does look familiar. Look at the uh, look at the picture of the top one. Hey, I know you. <laughs> That's the oh, elf, an elf. Fuck. What? I bet you these guys are the guardsmen for. The elves. No. Do we all recognize the one that looks familiar? That one right there. That the looks... flaming hand. He was at the, he was at the elven tower. That looks He's like the, the one guy that who was fucking at... raped the uh. The... Okay. Yeah, he's the rain the rogue 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 elf guy. Okay, I misunderstood what was going on there. Then okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna turn and say, oh! Hello again! And hello again! With the echo. Yes. Um.
Ah, all right. Dory kind of looks at you guys odd and says, I see that you may have changed your minds. Yes, we ran into some capital guards. Well, bandits. From, from what we've been told, the, the bandits who were uh, disguised as capital guards. And I figured, assuming I can afford you, I might want some extra aid. Well, like I said before, well, they help. Just be a bit pricey. Yes. I must ask something, though, to your elven friend here. How do you know them? <laughs> they all fucks at you and says, I was merely passing by when I helped you at the tower. Oh, I see. I only barely know the wizard. I see. I look at him and go, you did great work with that construction. That construct. I agree. It was kind of... Got you. <laughs> and, um... Oreo looks back at you. He says, so how many heads are you looking to accompany you? That depends. One, on price. Two, on... <clears throat> how much your people will look the other way for anything they might not agree on. Depends on what we're talking about. Uh, I'm not the most friendliest person. Yes. You actually say that? Yes. We, we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like shrug. We don't <laughs> tend to take. I'm just gonna shake my head and say, "Dumbass." Kindly to anyone interfering with anything we want to do. Well, uh, hey. No matter. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I say no matter if they're think they're righteous if, or if, if they're deemed evil or they swing in the in between them well we act as mercenaries user was moved to your channel oh, we've seen both sides of the yeah oh, I see I I do have one Slight thing I have to ask, and that is Would you ever be part of a group that obviously is paying you that would have a chance of being not all that for? the ruler of this island. Your opinion about the king does not affect our relationship. They said, we're mercenaries. I okay. send a mind link to the cell. I wonder if their opinion is going to change the first time we get one of those constructs sent after us and he finds out it was actually the king. Yes. I'm also wondering if uh, they're going to care that, well, as far as they need to know, you guys are wanted by the king for can... terms that have are uncontrollable by us. You still read his mind? I can attempt to. 
assuming I would be facing them like this. Without reading mine, because you don't want to read it. Oh, <laughs> I can choose who I read. I'm gonna pipe up from my little area over there and say and uh, say enough bullshit in this direction. What is your opinion on the king? We don't have much of an opinion on the king. I'm going to say, would you kill this man? Prove the threat. What if I told you he put a bounty on a group of people's heads just because they had a possession that they didn't even know he wanted and they didn't even know fully how they came about having it it just happened to actually wind up in their belongings due to some actually unknown mix up and actually no correction I'm sorry I forgot the story we Re reverse that for a second here who actually had his own the king's own guards or henchmen put this item in their belongings and then puts a bounty on their heads to have them killed so they can get the item back. Sounds more like a <clears throat> motion of the bodyguard than the king. True, but the king is the one who puts the bounty on their heads. That now have been done by the guard as well. Could have been done by a second in command. King's not the one that puts bounties on people's heads. The only person we haven't think of thought of yet, the royal advisor. That's true. Okay, well then let's not say the king, but let's say the ones he works, the ones that work under him and work for him, and the government, the ruling government of this isle. Well, it's a monarchy. <laughs> so it'd have to be one of his advisors. One second. I just start laughing at him saying, well, it's a monarchy. <laughs> <sighs> like, for a merchant, you really suck at this governmental politics stuff. Merchants aren't necessarily politically smart. They You're supposed to know enough about politicals to know when's a good time to sell and when's not. That's not politics, uh -huh. that's just trade. I don't know if you get involved in Is politics. Is trading part of politics? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to mind link to Phil and say, Alright, enough of this. I've got somebody else to do the talking. I was just about to say maybe we need to bring the skull out. Uh, fuck the spell. No, the skull. The rogue. He's the one who told us that the king put the bounty on her head. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not a skull, actually. It's a full head still. Oh. Still has flesh on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking Hello, of the dragon. Skull. Or the... whatever. Alright. Alright. Do what, Scott? do what you must, Braxis. Okay. At this point, I'm going to get up, walk over, and uh, place my staff with the rogue's head on top of it, and uh, in front of these, in front of the people who are negotiating. Well, I'm gonna say, say rogue. I moved over. I'm going uh, to <laughs> say rogue. Time for you to speak. Right. Like this is alright. <laughs> what are you wanting me to speak about? The king. And it's the reason. The king. And the reason we are going about this whole thing. From what I've heard. The king, or one of his fighters, possibly, or even a bodyguard himself that sabotaged you, put a bounty on your head. Every single one of you. He also put a bounty on the necromancer and my head. Just for being associated with you. That's 
that's it. <laughs> um. So yeah. Yeah, you kind of give, kind of see me have a puzzled look when he brings up the necromancer as well. And then I'm going to go and sit back and over in my little corner. I'm going to leave my staff stuck in the ground right there. So if the money is right, would you go against his monarch? Well, it's not completely suicidal, yeah. What if there are ways that we can make it to where it's not going to be completely suicidal and we can actually get an army and actually get a resistance to stop the corruption in this monarch? Bird over it just being all of us. Wait, I didn't hear that. The, an army would be for, preferred over just the group of us. Oh, yes. This is just the start. We just don't feel it's right to try to come to an aisle only to be blackmailed and prices put on heads for unknown reasons, whether it was the actual king himself or the people who rule under him. And if a king is not aware of what his advisors and bodyguards are doing, then that is not a very informed king and he is not doing his job all that well. And we feel that this should be put stop to. Good. Shall we move to negotiations? You're cutting in and out. <clears throat> One second. Can't hear you at all. That should help. Uh, I can hear you. Alright. Um, should we move to negotiations? I suppose we could. So, our usual fee fares about 50 gold per head. But this seems a bit more long term than we usually anticipate. I'm going to mind link with Syl and say maybe we should have the uh, rogue negotiate for us. He might be a little more persuasive. Uh, it's true. And if he does not abide by our uh, demands, he will not become back to life. He knows the terms. Since the stick with his head is still in the ground right there, I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna holler out, Rogue, negotiate, please. Well, I do have one thing to verify during these negotiations is I know you say you go for the price if the price is right, um, but I do have to ask some of the methods we use, we will be using, might not necessarily be of all that good nature, and could involve 
those who choose not to follow and aid us to be forced to follow and aid us whether that means they're breathing or not. I'm going to mind link to Abraxas and say bring your dead. I'm just going to have the zombies walk around me and up there. I ain't getting oh, up well, lazy. Well, there is one thing. If they can put in for their own pieces, it'd be kind of nice to see if uh, what all ideas we can come up as a total group instead of just us yes. evil. Well, I I should say as as you say, bring them slowly and as unthreatening as possible. Um, yeah, we they're do, just gonna we, shuffle up basically. We do not mean not you. you. At all, we are talking about other villages for creating our army and our resistance. If you choose to not go with us because the money is not right or what other reasons, we will both walk away, and this never happened. The warrior kind of looks at you funny and says, "Doesn't the whole idea of that contradict the very reason you're fighting the king?" Not with our ultimate goals we've had. Considering these bounties are on our heads. No. You fight an angel and then you think of this. Um. He sits there. Kind of thinks it over. And then turns to you again and says... I believe we're willing to work for you, but we'll just have to see with time if it's going to work out. That is doable. We are also not asking you to take part in any of the deeds that we might partake in. I'm a mind link to sell. I'm a mind link to sell and say. We can make them into zombies all the same. Mind leaving back, yes. But what I'm thinking for them is they continue on their journey and every town they go to, every village they go to, every one they pass, they spread the rumors. Not a bad idea. They can be our, our rumor people instead of having to have the rogue do it. The rogue can also do it. It's multiple sources. It's not just from the underground. It's from actual adventurers. People who have lived here their whole lives. The rogue, at the same time, actually could have his people spot out targets for us instead. True. Rogue so I'm going to tell... I'm going to... What? Uh, the rogue can spot out targets for you to control as well. Yes. I'm going to tell them... What we are, we are asking for you to do, to be blunt, which actually might not be real, is to lie, to twist the truth. Some of it is actually real, some of it is not. And that is, we need the surrounding country, cities and villages and towns and people outside of the capital to know the truth of what their monarch actually is. Alright, so exactly this rumor that we're spreading. That the king and his cabinet are willing to blackmail and sabotage and trick anyone because they can because they get kicks out of it that nobody is safe as long the as they are in rule I'm gonna mind link and say don't forget to tell them about the sand and also those things that they are, or the, the wizard said there were, there were guards speak up those tell them right. Speak up, tell them. Huh? So speak up, tell them. 
I'm telling you this because I don't remember 100% of it. Neither do I. <laughs> Just, um, well, the thing is about those, about those constructs and shit, we have our little elven friend here, or whatever he is. As proof? That was there when the wizard was talking about him? Uh, no, actually, uh, that was after that the wizard was talking about them, and Shmoo was up in the tower with the wizard, yeah. so the elf wouldn't have been there. However, those constructs were there for us, Yeah. and that elf fought them off. Um, the elf fucked them up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, without going into the details of it all and everything again, repeating ourselves, I'm gonna explain to them a lot of what has happened what the constructs were, um, that the elven friend here who fought those constructs off, those constructs were act actually after us, and we didn't even know it, and that's when we found out about the bounty on our heads um, being from the king and the king's court and everything, um, and that we need the truth to be spread. I'm going to pipe up and say that's, that's how our uh, friend on a stick here got to be on a stick. Yes. Because those constructs got him. The meat sickle. Yeah. And, and so if you do not believe us, this elven friend here, your elven friend here, he actually helped us fight off our assassins who killed our rogue friend here. That is what we need. I will pay you to spread. Well, we have five individuals that could do that very easily. Just like me and my warrior friend here who can help you otherwise. This could work. We need them to spread the rumors quickly and as efficiently as possible. And we don't need it to be just a quick, drunken, pub-going rumor. We need it to stick, and we need it to be strong. Actually, the, pu the pubs are the best place to do it. Yes. Yes. They, yes, that is true, but I'm talking about the drunkard can't be the one giving out the information. Nobody uh, believes the drunkard. That's why I'm saying it has to be solid when they spread the rumors. It has to be to the right people. They have to do their work. They have to do their research. Seeing as how you've lived here their whole lives, I'm assuming they will know at least to some point what places to go to and what not. I would also suggest, if we do agree upon this, that with the exception of us having to go to the capital after this, your party does not return to the capital. Fair warning, as the rogue, this nice head now, is proof, associating with us. If they are to find out you are associating with us, you are in danger. Granted. I also get the feeling that the price is right, you put yourselves in danger to begin with. So I don't see that being a problem. I'm gonna hold up my money pouch and my link with Sil and say, here, take what you need. Alright. Because, yes, so I do not recommend going back to the capital unless you absolutely have to. Alright. So, that is what we need. What is your cost for starting for your five friends to go on their way of spreading the rumor? Hey. About 10 platinum each, considering the risk.